In the K1 Revelation Legendary Lost Sector, there's a bunch of unstoppable ogres and a couple barrier knights. There's also a couple arc shields. We can just take care of those with some void damage. Our weapon loadout is going to be a kinetic sniper rifle. This sniper rifle can be obtained from the Deepstone Crypt raid. But you can also get a long shadow from any random world drop. The best way to get a long shadow is just deposit weapon parts into Banshee for rank up packages. We're going to use the bottom dollar void hand cannon from Gambit. Because of the increased damage of void during this lost sector, we're going to use this for killing most of the enemies, as well as stunning the unstoppable ogres. And for our heavy weapon, we're going to use the truth rocket launcher since it holds three rockets in a mag. And it's pretty easy to get. You can also use the Bad Omens rocket launcher that you can buy from the Drifter. Or if you're a PvP player, you can get a rocket with void damage from Trials of Osiris. For our armor mods, we're going to use Argent Ordinance. While charged with light, readying or firing a rocket launcher grants an increased damage, consuming one charge with light stack. To get those charged with light stacks, we're going to use Precision Charge. Rapidly defeating enemies with precision kills from hand cannons will get us a charge with light stack. And then on our boots, we're also going to use a rocket launcher scavenger mod so we can get extra rocket ammo. On our chest piece, we're going to use Super Charge. This increases the total amount of charge with light stacks you can hold at a time. And then we're also going to use Sniper Damage Resistance its mods so we can reduce incoming damage from enemies at long range and in this lost sector most of the enemies are going to be from pretty far away if you're using a void chest piece you can also use void damage resistance mod since the void damage in this lost sector is increased on our gauntlets we're going to use unstoppable hand cannon for the ogre an anti-barrier sniper rifle for the knights and then on our helmet, we're going to use stacks on stacks. For every charge with light stack that we get from our hand cannon kills, we'll get an extra one for free. And then we'll use rocket launcher ammo finder mods to get more rocket ammo. I'm also using top tree void nova bomb for the increased damage that the void grenades will do. And the nova bomb does a lot more damage. And you can combine that with the Nezerak Sin exotic helmet to get your void abilities back faster. The legendary lost sector is found on the moon in the top right here. If this guide is helping you out, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for even more helpful guides like this. If you want to get even more exclusive content, supporting me on my Patreon helps put out even more and better stuff for you all. In the K1 Revelation Legendary Lost Sector, these are the active modifiers. When defeated, acolytes spawn fire pools that cause damage over time at their feet. Void damage you deal and receive is also increased by 50%. And all incoming void and aerial damage is also increased. The first thing we're going to do is clear this room using cover. We're going to kill all the enemies that we can before we take out the barrier champion. Once this room is cleared, We'll move up and take out the barrier champion by using our sniper. Now you're going to want to not drop down from here until you kill all the enemies. Since the incoming aerial damage is increased, if you drop down too early, you'll just get absolutely blasted by all the incoming damage your way once we kill these acolytes we can kill the barrier champion we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to snipe the barrier, make sure it pops. Make sure to get over to this area as quickly as possible so you don't get caught in the air with the increased damage. We're just going to hang out, kill as many enemies as we can before we push up. 
We're gonna push up on this left side so we don't get hit by any of the enemies directly above us. Now we're just gonna break the arc shield with void damage. And then quickly kill the knight. Once the knight is dead, an unstoppable ogre will spawn. We're just gonna stun the ogre, kill it with rockets, and finish off the rest of the enemies that are here. Since we have a bunch of rocket ammo on the ground, I'm just going to use a rocket to kill the knight. And we can shoot through its shield with anti-barrier. Grab this ammo. We're just going to keep moving forward, killing the enemies that we can. Alright, since we killed the knight over here, as well as the other enemies, the unstoppable ogre just spawned. We're gonna kill the acolytes first, and then stun the ogre. And then kill it with rockets. And then we're gonna repeat this for the last crystal before we summon the boss. Alright, there's the ogre. Rockets. And we're gonna finish it up there. Just gonna save the last rockets that I have for the boss. There we go. Kill these acolytes here. And then we'll summon the boss. Make sure your rockets are reloaded. We're just gonna instantly kill it. There we go. Now we just have this barrier champion to kill, and then we're good to go. We can just keep using rockets to kill the enemies that spawn here. Since all of these guys do void, we just want to kill them first before we jump up into the air to grab the chest. And there you go. Once you've killed everything, it's safe to come up and get the chest. And hopefully you have better luck than I did.